I greet you all my people and I appreciate you for clicking on this video. If you are new here, you're highly welcome. My name is Lillian and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back. I appreciate you. In today's video, I'm sorry I look the exact opposite of the story I'm about to tell, but I think this is the only thing I have the ability to change about myself. My look. I have no ability to change my nationality because I don't know how I got there, but how I paint my face and do all that I want to do and look the way I want to look in front of the camera since I have the ability to do so I do it and I want to apologize in case you feel like I'm looking too good for this story I mean because it's a sad one pardon me okay I just want to console myself by doing things that I can do <laughs> to make up for the things I can't do like on becoming a Nigerian which is not possible for me so there is an update about the missing Ghanaian woman who went to Nigeria to visit her friends and never returned there is an update from her husband a man who refused to leave his wife's sight even in difficult times like this one he went back to the Nigerian police to find out why his wife is still missing and maybe this will give you a clue why Nigerians are the most hated people all around the world people don't like nigerians and some of us are quick to say oh they don't like us because they are jealous of us we go to their land we prosper right in front of them and they are not prospering so they are jealous of us they want what we have but they can't get so they are hating on us based on that but if you want to tell the truth here are the issues okay things like this can make the world hate you fine south africans do not like you according to some nigerians is because we are hard working than them Ghanaians do not like us because they are jealous of us kenyans do not like us because they are women want us so what about dubai america what about the whole world basically because i can't name all the countries the only country that i do not know if they do not like nigerians they are twin brother that is Papa Wu new guinea so as for the rest i know for sure that all over the world the nigerian passport is to no 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 and if you don't believe me i can display how my sister one of my sisters is crying at an airport in dubai dubai a city that welcomes everybody especially those with money and you know we have the money to spend but they don't want us if you want me to display her video i'll do it but otherwise i just want to let you know why we are hated that is it forget the tiktok videos you see by some south african ladies kenyan ladies Ghanaian ladies coming out to say oh nigerians are the best these people are having romantic affairs with our men and as a woman including me sitting here i like security yeah women like a man that can provide for them and just that we are different some of us want to know how you make that money to provide for us but some don't care as long as they are okay in fact they will even join you to do it so the tiktok videos of south african Ghanaians, kenyans which other countries making and saying nigerian men are the best it is as a result of that it's nothing other than that it's not like they love nigeria and these same people once our men discard them like piece of property because you know as a woman to some nigerian men please not all okay i will never discredit nigerian men that are well raised but some nigerian men sees you as a woman like as a woman they don't see you as a human being they sees you as a property that they possess like maybe like for instance like a dog right you know once you adopt a dog or you buy one you are supposed to provide for your dog show it love basically that dog is your responsibility if you like you cage it any day you like you can unalive it any day you like you can throw it just discard it or give it away that is how how i'm some men not all sees you my beautiful african sisters and the annoying thing is once these ladies come on the internet to say all these things about the nigerian men being the best once they break up with them they will become so bitter they will start to be the one hating these are the real haters of nigerians they will even hate including their fellow women because we are nigerian they'll hate you if you investigate now this thing they cause some sorry don't feel offended okay but when you are dating our men just know that 
you can be discarded you can just like every other yeah just that i'm saying this because of those that usually come out to sing praise of nigerian men and saying they are the best okay aside this praise singing by women who like security who likes to be provided for by men regardless of what the man does for a living the world do not like us and the reason is simple mm? let's take a look at Let's take a look at the updates from Afiba's husband, the Ghanaian lady that went to Nigeria and never returned. She and her friend Celine Dudim. Celine wouldn't have even made it to social media because you know now. <laughs> but Afiba is a star even in difficult times. I can't say even in debt because we are not sure if she's somewhere, if she's being hurt somewhere, if she's somewhere suffering right now or she's no longer alive. So I can't sit here and pronounce answer on her life so i'm going to say even in difficult times she is a star because she has a man who is supporting her who stood by her who refused to allow her to be blackmailed to be lied upon that she is into hookup when she is not because he said my wife is not see men like this are not many okay men like tony they know plenty but then without talking too much let's take a look at the video between you know the update from afiba's husband with the nigerian police regarding the demise of his wife or the missing of his wife Introduce I'm, yourself, please. I'm tony the husband of a fever um yep so uh so far it's been five months and um uh, we we gave some time to the police to do what they had to do <clears throat> since they said they wanted some uh, two three weeks to work on the case or uh, re release a report mm -hmm. and uh, I think three months in nothing has happened till the moment uh, no report was released so personally I reached out to uh, Mr. Muyiwa Aditrobi who is the uh, head of PR, PRO or PRP um, and I asked him personally to uh, assist further on that uh, on the matter. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't. He didn't respond from the first time, um, but I kept. I kept uh, texting him every two or three days, every week. Um, so at least we get something. Actually, I'm turning on my laptop because um, my, the live is on my phone. So I would open the conversation on WhatsApp and read really exactly well. and read exactly what uh, what I, I I told him and the responses I got. All right. So, guys, why is opening his phone or uh, his phone or laptop? If I heard him correctly. Um, the first statement he has made is that, as always, the family of the husband of her fever uh, gave the police enough time. As we all are aware, the IG, the Inspector General of Police, who initially made a publication, which we are all aware of, sources available online, that he has set up a panel and giving them two weeks to come up with an investigation on the missing girls, Celine and Afiba. So he's trying to express that they gave sufficient time, which was over four months interval. And then he reached out to Muiwa Abajolobi, who is the current FPRO. So FPRO, the PRO of every state in, in Nigeria, but they there is a federal PRO who is the head of every other state. So the federal PRO, the FPRO is Muiwa Abajolobi. So he's about to release his communication with him so that we can understand and then um, we'll take it from there. So please go ahead if you are ready. So first before mentioning um before mentioning the conversation that happened between me and uh Mr. Moiwa, uh, um, we requested to join a meeting that the police had in Nigeria, and they were speaking about um, 
the, the protests and uh, the way that some some people are burning police officers and uh, and um, doing all sorts of inhuman stuff to them. Um, and they were showing some videos of that. Okay. And so we joined, we took the opportunity to join that Zoom call and uh, we um, we joined so we could uh, at least question him on live okay. since he said he, he has a very busy schedule and all that. And um, uh, it was Mr. Ben. Uh, all right, just say that man, we know him. Go ahead. That yeah. So, uh, so he he asked him he asked him a few questions. Uh, actually, the questions we wanted to ask him, and uh, all what I can see is that uh, Mr. Muiwa was uh, fidgeting, and uh, his body language was not uh, something. So it, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it was. He wasn't comfortable. Actually, he was fidgeting and moving and left and right, uh, from the left to the right uh, frame, and uh, um, uh, saying, "You know, this is a homicide case that um, that is not like any other case, and it takes time, and uh, we need to investigate more, and you know, all that stuff." Mm -hmm. And he was smiling and laughing, and uh, you know, when he was speaking. So, personally. Um, so just before I forget, please tell me if you live in a country outside of Nigeria, is this supposed to be the family of the missing person that's supposed to go bother the police to do their job? I mean, a foreigner for that matter, is this supposed to be his own job pestering the police, trying to remind them, or is it supposed to be the job of the police to do that and even giving them updates, keep telling them, hold on, we are on it, okay? How are you doing? How is your health? I hope you're taking it easy. We want to beg you to give us time. We are working on it. Is that not how it's supposed to be? Let's continue. Um, if I'm I, I usually, I would do, I would act the way he acted with my friends if i'm if i'm actually sitting having beer with my friends yeah. um, the way he was really unprofessional and i'm not mentioning uh, his, um, his his ways to just say that he's unprofessional i'm I mentioning that. You, are, you are expressing yourself based on how you feel what, what yes. things right Go I, 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 I felt that because um no, because I had any any anything, I was I wasn't affected by what he was doing, but I was reading his body language, and you could tell that he wasn't comfortable with the questions that were thrown on him, and he didn't have answers to those questions. So uh, he and he wasn't clear with everything he was saying. Like if you try to reflect on whatever he said, you cannot take, you cannot have a clue or an answer of what. He he was saying he was always trying to you know spread the whole if someone throws a ball of energy on you and you try to spread that energy but you don't give actually any answer you don't give any clue of what really happened so that was his behavior and okay. that was uh what he did and uh, yeah they shifted uh, actually they tried even to hack the interview when we were trying to join they tried to hack it twice it's only our turn that they were trying to hack and uh someone threw one of us so i was it was me ben and um uh, and uh afiba's sister and i think uh, another four, so fourth four people and we made sure that we are there so if something happens to one then the second can speak and the third can speak and repeat and make sure that this reaches out to the authorities or the people in charge mm -hmm. so actually they hacked uh twice uh, when ben was speaking and they turned down like they threw one of us outside of the call the, the zoom call um and here i knew that uh people are aware of the situation more and at, at least i mean if you want to do such a thing just be very discreet about it but don't make it so obvious that you're trying to hack you're trying to throw people outside just to not allow us to say the truth and speak and get to um, where you were um so yeah this is before i move to the conversation i wanted to tell you what happened right. on that day 
um, and then uh, on the on the first of uh, June, I reached out to him. This is Sonia Faber's husband. I explained to him, please give me a call when you see this urgent. He looks at it. He never replies. It's blue ticked. Then again, on the 8th, uh, on the 29th of 8th, so I leave him, I give him a month. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's August. I tell him, kindly advise on the language that the NPF understands, because I don't think it's the one that humans speak. I need closure over my wife's case. Where is she now? Four months. Where, why is the police silent? What are you guys hiding? Kindly, we need your help on this, and I know you won't fail. We need to set up a quick five minutes call, and I will be waiting for your reply. Um, the reason I said I know he doesn't fail, because I think this is the highest form of authority when it comes to the police. Mm -hmm. If that guy fails you, then the whole country has failed you. That's what I would say. Hmm. Hmm. Every area of our sector puts us out there, both at home in our own country, both outside of our own country. Outside of our own country, we go there and misrepresent or mis. I wouldn't say misrepresent. We go there and represent ourselves well, represent our home, our behavior from back at home over there. And then back at home, there's nothing good to be said about us. This guy is a German who is based in Dubai. His wife is a Ghanaian who is foreigner. She's not Nigerian. So this case involves how many countries? Dubai, Germany, Ghana. So what are you supposed to do to prove a point that, okay, we have always had complaints from your country, from various, you know, from around the world about the attitude of some of our people. So what are you supposed to do? Are you not supposed to prove to them that we are not like that? Are you not supposed to prove to them that Nigeria is not like that? The Nigerians in Nigeria are different by putting in everything you got all your credibility into this case to make sure that you succeed at it so that you can bring some sort of a change in mindset of the people towards your people but no the case is not like that i know some people will still come and defend this i know of course why not if it was to be maybe nezeville or adiola that talked about it uh -huh, it would have been fun you guys even laugh like the policeman but because it's me and you like to take advantage of people because they are young or because they are women uh, except they have a, a master which is the man that's the only time you love respect them i don't need your respect but this is why you are hated from all around the world now, now let's talk about the parenting that got nigerians into that list of the most hated person in the world most hated people in the world do you know that Andrew's mother is alive? Do you know that by now, do you know that Andrew's body has been buried? His family must have gone there, secretly take the body, come bury it. They will even cry at the graveside. They will weep. They will do everything. They will pray. Pastor will even come and pray for Andrew. A known murderer. There are so many things to this man. Now, we are going to take a look at his mother and the advice that his mother gave to him that lead us to where we are today. Let's take a look at that together. Little by little, we're moving forward. Where are you going to spend X mass? I asked him. That's good, buddy. I am pleased. So, buddy, this one, I'm not longer sure the situation with the house in Port Harcourt got uh, heated three weeks ago. The landlord cut off the electricity again. So I decided to move my stuff. In the meantime, my mom and other family members uh, were asking me to leave PH due to major insecurity that is there at the moment. I am pleased. So, but it they wanted me to move to Abba. A mother, a Nigerian mother, a woman, someone that goes to church or wherever she goes to, regardless, because no religion advises its believer to be evil even an atheist knows best that it is good to be good but his own mother andrew's mom advised him to move to abba 
because for Tarkot, there are kidnappers and all of that. This is a son, a child of yours that is troubled. What are you supposed to do as a good mother? Are you not supposed to keep this man closer to you so you can put an eye on him? Because this is not the first time Andrew has had issues with women. There's a girl who is bedridden up to now because Andrew threw him up from story buildings. I don't know, they say three story or four, five story building in Port Harcourt and then she had spine court injury but because she's nigerian nothing is done up to now so she has to go sort out her life stay like that until she dies maybe she's alive or not and everybody is cool we move on with our lives because she is not your sister so what are you talking about why should you talk about her what is your business is she not um, an olosho so it's good for her right that is how we think. And this was in the media. It's not like it's a secret thing that was okay. The mother didn't hear. She heard about it. Andrew was in the police. You know, he was arrested just a few days. His family went to bail him. His mother, who knows that this guy is troubled because he has had issues with not one, not two, not three women. So Potakot is no longer safe for him. Indirectly, he's trying to tell you that the police are now on him. Like they're looking at him. Because see, you like it or not in Nigeria, there are regions that are less corrupt than the others all right so potaco see i'm not saying they are the best but see they are level to the things that can be allowed to happen in some places except if it is political yeah you, that's when you see people just on a life each other and just do it and go but if it is something like normal thing like just someone oppressing you there are a lot of people who already has the money so they don't need money from this murderers to cover him up so already they knew that his cup in portacourt was full his mother knew that if he continued to stay there in portacourt is going to maybe he will end up in prison so the best thing is he can go to another place a bar where nobody is there to monitor him and uh, where everybody will just mind their businesses and of course if your family cannot give you away cannot report you to the police who is that honorary person that should have the right to do it is it your neighbor reporting you to the police in a bar so hey god i don't know it is complicated like it's a long story so these are the issues this is why we are hated from all around the world it's not like because it's, people are not disliking you because they are jealous of you there's nothing to be jealous of you as nigerian all right there's nothing absolutely nothing apart from the fact that yeah you have suffered indeed and in your suffering you didn't die uh -huh. otherwise there's nothing to you that will make people say okay ah they want it you're in the education sector you suffer and you feel it's cool to be suffering the, everything about you you suffer like no electricity basically like you suffer so people could be like oh wow this is long suffering indeed you know there's long suffering in the bible so that you signifies that very well so maybe that i can't call that envy they can be like oh, wow admire your strengths it ends there so nobody is jealous of you the world simply dislike you in fact it hates you because of how we misrepresent ourselves we do things look at this guy look at a german who lives in dubai Look at a, a German who is fighting for his Ghanaian wife, a foreign woman. And mind you, Afiba and Selene are not the only women missing. There have been cases of others, like the gym instructor whose sister went to the police to report. But the police said she should bring, allegedly, oh, she should bring 300,000 naira. If you're in Ghana, that's 3,000 cities equivalent, all right? Let's just say somewhere around 250 USD. And that money in Nigeria is not everyone that can afford it. A regular Nigerian do not have anything close to it. In fact, a regular Nigerian can even on a life somebody for you for the sum of just how much? Less than a thousand cities. So these are the issues. This is why we are being hated. Now look at how this issue is being handled. It's this is good. People are going to keep disliking us and we are living in denial. When I talk, people will come and queue at my comment section like ants. I don't want to block you guys anymore. I want to leave you there to expose yourself. I've told you guys, if you want to migrate, you want to go to a country where you act and free, go to Papua New Guinea. Believe over there, there will be no complaint because I don't think you can beat those guys to their game. You cannot. Man, we got too many things in common. They also have that internal breaking, like some countries want to break out from that same country you know which is also like us back at home and that poorly distribution of wealth they have a couple of rich people and um, 
plenty of poor people but their soil is rich just like us are they not our twin i think the best country to migrate to is papua new guinea as a nigerian go there because over there i don't think anybody will complain because i don't think you can beat them to their own game man they are mean and they pass us maybe there we will be appreciated because at least we don't i don't think you can do up to them so that way they will be like wow do you understand <sighs> I'm done with this video. The comment section is open. Cry me a river. If we don't address our lives back, like we don't do things right, the world will continue to dislike us, okay? The comment section is open and I won't block you. Cry me a river. Buckets, okay? Yeah, nobody is jealous of you. They simply hate you. Doo -doo.